Nostalgic. Hey friends, I'm Jimmy Gaddis. Welcome to Nostalgic. You may have noticed I am a little tad bit, kind of sort of late on this latest video, and that's because I have been extremely busy preparing my first Friday art exhibit. Yeah, I guess I'm somewhat of an artist. Toy photography is my thing. I take pictures of of toys. So if Star Wars, the original trilogy especially, makes you feel nostalgic, then this video is for you. So what's First Friday? Well, they're pretty popular in cities across the country, including here in Anchorage. You've probably attended some. This is where bars, restaurants, cafes, they'll put up local artists' work on the first Friday of the month, and then folks make a night out of it. They hop from place to place, check out the art, have a drink, get something to eat, make a night of it. It's a good time. I was invited to show my Star Wars toy photography at Raven's Ring Brewing Company in South Anchorage. And before we get to the Star Wars, I really want to stress how top-notch the beer is here in Alaska. I'd argue it's some of the best in the country. If it helps, I recently ran across this graphic showing the highest concentration of breweries. Notice Alaska in the dark blue, it's because craft beer is officially one of our things. Think about it, we're talking untainted natural ingredients straight from the land, the water right from our glaciers. Mwah, it's so good. As for the Star Wars. That's my favorite robot because that's Darth Vader. Yeah, buddy, Darth Vader was my favorite too when I was your age in the early 80s. He's still my favorite. Star Wars has easily had the greatest impact on my life outside of He-Man and Masters of the Universe. I eat it, I breathe it, I drink it, I live it, I love it. And about four or five years ago, I combined my love of Star Wars and photography into toy photography. I certainly didn't come up with this on my own. There are some amazing toy photographers. Go check your Instagram. In fact, I'll leave some links to some of my favorites. But that is how I became aware of it. It was after a Star Wars celebration, and I met some people, and one thing led to another, and I became obsessed and hooked. And I would create these scenes using six inch Hasbro figures. Now, I wish I could say I was using the vintage Kenner Star Wars figures, and some folks do, but I prefer Hasbro's Black Series as they've got lots of articulation, as in you can bend their knees and wrists and elbows and put them in more lifelike positions. And if I'm being honest, I don't actually recall ever owning any of the vintage Kenner figures. Probably had a few, but they don't really stick out. I was so into He-Man at that time when it came to toys, that Star Wars uh, didn't have as big of a presence in my life. I know that's shocking to some of you who know me. I mainly played with these toys at my friend's house and especially at my cousin Carl's. I know he had a bunch, including the Ewok Village. It was pretty sweet. The Ewok Village playset. Action figures, eat sold separately. You have to put it together. I'm Lobre, the Ewok medicine man. Take me to your leader. Your throne, oh golden king, will celebrate with special stew, a barbecue. As for the photography, you can tell I've got a bit of a certain style. While I like to incorporate a little bit of action in some shots, and I'll get to that in a moment, I prefer a good old portrait utilizing Alaska's landscapes as the backgrounds. Like this one of stormtroopers in Seward. So Seward is about two hours south of Anchorage and is a great place to cruise Resurrection Bay and go well watching. As we come upon the wildlife, we'll ask that you folks outside, please limit your movements, be as quiet as possible. Oh, they're coming right over this way. Oh my, just up ahead, left hand side. Highly recommended. Darth Maul is my favorite bad guy. Or Darth Maul in a fire pit at Kasugi Ken Campground in Denali State Park. Now what you don't see is North America's tallest mountain in the background. Denali. Yeah, it was there, I promise. It's just that, in this case, I was utilizing the campground's very big fire pit to help blow up some ashes and create this effect. One of my favorite locations to shoot is Beluga Point along Turnigan Arms. This spot is just 20 minutes south of Anchorage, and it is known as being one of the most scenic stretches of highway in the world, with the water and mountain views uh, to help me create some stunning images, like Luke parked with a date in his land speeder. I figure if he never ran across those droids in Obi-Wan Kenobi, maybe he would have lived a normal life, gone out on a date in his land speeder. It's possible. I don't know if you can tell, but that figure next to him, his date, is actually, that's a Jin Erso figure. That's also possible given their ages around that time. And if she never died on Scarif, stealing the Death Star plans. Or maybe a little Empire Strikes Back Luke. It's an epic of romance. Not that one. 
The one lighting up that lightsaber. Because what is more Hoth than Alaska? Or Boba Fett stoically standing and blending into his surroundings. Look at those colors, they were perfect. This one is called a Klutna by Dubak. That's because it was taken at a Klutna Lake. And a Klutna Lake is a glacier fed lake, which is where we get our water. We have the luxury of drinking right from the tap. My personal favorite was taken right at home though, right in the neighborhood. It's called Jack Jacked Speeder, because Jack Jack is stealing Luke's speeder. And I've got some from out of state. A fan favorite is R2 on the Red Rocks, taken on the south shore of Long Island, which is where I grew up. Took it while I was home visiting the family. Uh, on the other end of the, of the world, or halfway around it, I guess, uh, is this one, Aloha, it's a lifestyle, taken on Oahu. Hawaii, a very popular travel destination, by the way, for Alaskans. Next time you're there and you're meeting people, keep that in mind and I guarantee you'll think to yourself, he was right. Yeah, we frequent it. I could go on and on, but I'll let you dive into the rest of my collection on your own time. Once this video is over, I'll leave a link in the description to the James Gaddis Photography website. I hope you've enjoyed this toy photography inspired tour of Alaska. Maybe it's got you inspired to go and grab those old vintage figures and head on out and do some photography of your own. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content that's gonna make you feel nostalgic for the 80s and the 90s. And speaking of, I got some content right here, ladies. Yeah, if you love Barbies and wanna see what we've got here in Alaska, this one's for you. And if you love quoting movies from the 80s, this one is for you. I'm Jimmy Gaddis. I'll see you soon, and may the force be with you.